Hi folks, welcome to Data Science for Psychologists. I'm going to be your tour guide throughout this semester. My name is Mason Garrison and I'm a quantitative psychologist who loves to play with data. And this class is exactly that. You all will get to play with data. Now, it's got a fun snappy name, but it's actually an updated version of a very classic quantitative methods course. So essentially this course is exploratory and graphical data analysis reimagined or modernized. The classic version uh, would have used this book. It's called the Orange Book because of its nice bright color written in 1977. This was like a core essential staple. I've got a couple copies of it. Um, and it's, it was revolutionary. Just to, I can't even articulate how fundamental this material is. You already have learned a lot of this from elementary school on box and whisker plots, uh, histograms, and pie charts. But we're going to go in depth and actually explore how to do this. Now, it's a modernized version because we're going to learn how to do this in R and not in S, which is how they, they used to do it. And by hand, with punch cards and magnetic tape. So, yeah, let's talk logistics. So this class is graduate level course. It's blended asynchronous. What does that mean? I'll talk to you about that on the next slide. So I'm Mason, I already said this. Uh, I'm in green 538, across the, the little narrow corridor from Mike. Um, but in all likelihood, you'll probably find me most accessible on Zoom, where I will be literally here. Now you can book office hours by appointment. I did this because, frankly, uh, having just a sad Zoom room with nobody in it didn't seem like a good use of anybody's time. Uh, I'd rather actually be able to be available when you need it. So please use the Calendly app or whatever app I'm using now and just book it in like, they can be as short as 15 minutes and they're really easy. Please. In terms of TA, we will uh, likely be visited quite often by my cats because they they live here too. Uh, Tuki is my orange cat uh, who did not write this book, but he was named after it. He will be showing up on occasion, almost guaranteed in like every video, or at least a cat. So yeah. That's basically it. Now let's talk about the blended structure. So this class is a weird little mix. So we're going to have weekly face-to-face -face tutorials. These are essentially solidarity sessions with your cohort. Bring your laptop. We will be playing around with R, struggling with R, and working with it together. All of the lectures are going to be pre-recorded and you can watch them at your own leisure, uh, all the coursework is asynchronous. We're not going to be zooming together like as a class. Pre-recorded lectures will be uploaded by week's start, hopefully sooner, but that's, I'll guarantee that I'll, by the start of the week. Now the engagement activities are there to help keep you on task and those you can interact with both halves of the class. And that'll be on Canvas or whatever learning thing we're using these days. And, and there will also be lecture notes as well as a textbook for the asynchronous stuff. I'll talk about the textbook in a little bit, but you don't need to buy this book because it's expensive. If I have most likely provided a copy for the class to peruse at their leisure, but the primary textbook is free. 
those will be updated as I go. So the big ideas of this class, the big, big things are we're going to learn about reproducibility. We are going to learn how to use R to essentially reproduce our analyses, which is a really underappreciated skill. We'll also learn a bit about replication, the idea that you can essentially cross-validate your studies. Uh, we'll learn about robust methods. These include learning how to manage outliers and how to even spot them. And the two big, big pieces, the ones that we're going to focus the bulk of the class on, are really nice visualizations and are. If anyone has a good suggestion on a nice adjective to replace, really nice, let me know. Uh, but that's the idea. Now, in terms of actual topics, they're going to be two. Uh, we're going to be um, covering what to do and how to do it. So in the what category, we'll likely cover things like univariate data, so measures of center, center and spread, transformations, visualizations, bivariate data, so simple regression, curve fitting, trivariate or hypervariate data, so multiple regression model selection basic components, as well as like binary responses, logistic regression, residuals, categorical data, so contingency data. So in all likelihood, we will not get to every single one of these topics because I'm going to tailor them to class interests a bit, but these are some potential ones. Uh, correspondence and analysis, distance data, so multidimensional scaling, nonlinear dimensionality, reduction, and the big, big one, graphing data, descriptive statistics, spectral methods, visualization. Also talk a smidge about like dangers of ED, like various exploratory approaches and their remedies, multiple comparison, data splitting, cross-validation, and the like, as well as other topics according to time and interest. The second one is how, how to do these things. So we're going to cover ggplot and tidyverse using our big textbook, the uh, R for data science. And we'll go more deeply into those things in a bit. Now, in terms of learning outcomes. So by the end of this course, you should feel comfortable using R to visualize and model many kinds of data. So given a data set, you should be able to visualize data, generate hypotheses about the relationships amongst those variables, investigate those hypotheses, and communicate your results. So in terms of textbook, we are going to use Hadley Wickham's R for Data Science. And we this will be the core piece. Now there is a print edition, it's a bit old. Uh, so I really encourage you to use the online edition because it's free and it's up to date. Uh, it's constantly being revised and you are welcome to submit contributions to it too. So use the online edition. Um, in terms of software, we're going to learn a lot about the software. So the big three pieces we're going to learn is GitHub, which is all about version control and being able to essentially back up your code. Next, we're going to learn about, uh, well, not next, all three of them, we're going to learn about R, which is a language and environment for statistical computing and graphics. Its ancestor is S. Uh, from Bell Labs for fun facts that you never needed to know. And lastly, we're going to wrap up our GitHub into our studio, which is a free and open source um, graphical interface for R. It'll make your life so much easier. Trust me. <laughs> now, in terms of course milestones, we're going to have three. So you're going to have your GitHub-based portfolio, where you have essentially demonstrate some of the skills you've learned in this class. There will be a group project where you get to learn to work with other people and 
do that. And third, there will be some kind of asynchronous class presentation. I'm going to have way more specifics in the syllabus, in the assignment instructions, but these are kind of the big pieces on where we're going. Now grades. We are going to use contract grading in this class. What is contract grading? It's the basic idea that um, you, blah, ooh, I missed the whole definition. So contract grading is essentially a contract between you and me where we determine how much work and what assignments you would like to do in order to earn your grade of choice. These assessments are based on effort rather than subjective evaluation that are aligned with some vague standard because this class is a weird, quirky, artistic class. And it seems silly to me to try and come up with some objective standard because everyone's coming in with a different background. And my goal is to help you guys take ownership of your learning and make it meaningful to you. So it's frankly more representative of the scientific process because success is about revising and improving your own work and reflecting on your progress rather than trying to turn things into points. So, uh, I'm going to have the specifics in the syllabus and some handouts. But the idea is that we're shifting our focus away from grades and towards learning and process. And it's designed to produce and reward habits and processes that are necessary to be to grow intellectually and academically. So grades in this class are going to be based on the quantity of portfolio pieces, as well as a few other things outlined in the syllabus. And each of us is going to have, like, I'll have another video giving more specifics. So, or maybe I'll just stick with a handout. I haven't decided yet. But you'll work with me and we will come up with a contract and as long as you fulfill it, you will earn your the grade that uh, we've contracted. Cool. So last topics. I'm just giving you a big overarching thing. Syllabus has way more detail, but it's going to break. The content is going to be broken up into three chunks. We'll do some graphical data analysis. So that's like visualizing data. Uh, we will do some exploratory data analysis, which is uncovering different relationships without having an a priori hypothesis. And lastly, we'll learn some modern data science techniques. All those together uh, will give us data science for psychologists. So yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.